Weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. It was a sun filled and stunning start to our Monday. Further into the afternoon, once our temperatures warmed, we started to see a few fair weather cumulus clouds starting to bubble up. It didn't really obstruct much in the way of our visibility today, although active weather, it's more so contained along I 80. Scattered showers and storms even outlined within a severe thunderstorm watch just because some feisty storms could start to bloom even just south of Oil City. That was once a rather strong thunderstorm, although we don't have a whole lot to worry about across our region. We're mixing in sun and clouds. However, as we step forward in through the day tomorrow, the ingredients will be there for some perhaps feisty, if anything severe, showers and storms, primarily for areas north of I-70. Storm Prediction Center outlines us within a slight risk or a two out of five along its south, a one out of five. And again, just reminder that two out of five, that slight risk. Well, it's more so for my the primary concerns that I have. If any severe weather does develop for Tuesday afternoon and evening, it's damaging winds, localized flooding due to some high moisture content. Although the activity, at least whenever it comes into hail formation or tornadic activity on the low side, it's not fully zero. It's of course something I'll continue to keep a very close watchful eye on for you. But localized flooding can be ruled out, especially with precip totals upwards to a half inch, perhaps an inch plus within any thunderstorms that develop. But whenever it comes into the remnants of what was once Hurricane Debbie, it's more so not going to impact us. It's moving off the Carolina coastline or once it does, it's going to impact areas of eastern Pennsylvania through the mid Atlantic, the Appalachian Mountains, the spine that extends on up into West Virginia and Pennsylvania will actually keep us dry. The only thing that I expect to see from this once hurricane is some remnant cloud coverage due to that uh, tropical moisture overhead and we're dealing with tropical moisture, especially whenever it comes into the mugginess and temperature still in the 90s. Right now we top things off in the low 90s and we stay rather warm moving forward, although we go through a little bit of a seesaw effect whenever it comes into our temperatures and it's a little bit of a temperature coaster upper 80s tomorrow, low 80s on Wednesday, and then hovering in the mid 80s as we head into the end of our week. How does this play out at least weather wise? Again, we walk through predictor. I don't have a whole lot, at least once we head into the beginning stages of our Tuesday. Areas of fog are possible, especially in our typical prone to fog regions. As we head into the afternoon and evening, we start to see an uptick in those clouds and scattered showers and storms will start to redevelop, some of which could turn a bit feisty at times and we'll continue to see some scattered showers lingering in through the day on Wednesday. And again, those temperatures hovering in the mid 80s through the end of the week, your weekend, we mix in sun and clouds, but a cooler air mass arrives. I am tracking highs in the low 80s through the beginning of next week. And for now, we'll keep things dry.